A lot of times people ask me uh, what type, what do I use, slack lines or tight lines. Um, I, I use both really. Um, I like slack lines. Um, I just love it, you know, being able to use a slack line for the indication and everything. But also I like to be in contact with what's going on as well. So I like to use sort of semi slack lines. And then what I do with that is when I fish gravel pits, a lot of deep gravel pits, I'll cast my rod out. I'll slacken it off a little bit, but you'll find that after a little while, your line will start tightening up again. Um, it's the undertow, uh, the weight of the line going into the lake. You think it's sinking across, like if you're fishing 60 yards out, it's a long way for your line to go down. And then what I'll do is I'll just keep taking the weight off of the line by giving it a bit of line. And I'll keep doing that, I'll keep doing that until you get to a point when the line can't sink no more. So then what you're doing, you're keeping you're keeping that slack line, so you're keeping that big bow, so your line's laying across the bottom, but also you're staying well in contact with what's happening. So as soon as if you fish a nice light bobbin with that method, as soon as that fish picks up that bait and moves a second, you're going to get loads of indication, but you're still fishing a slack line.